such a nice wave. Hi, hi guys. So we are in France still. For anyone. I know, we're just gonna go outside. We're having so much fun outside. Me and Ams have been outside, James is slaving away. <laughs> hey. He's cooking us some lunch. He's cooking Amber an omelette. Omelette originate from omelette. And obviously it's a good old guy Miss Stacey when loves you good. It is definitely not Welsh. No, it's not, is it? Is it French? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, bye daddy, we're going back out in the sun. Bye, Dada. Bye. Bye, Dada. <laughs> bye, bye. Where's Mila? Mila's definitely sunbathing. She's literally, I think I say it in every vlog now, but she's obsessed with the sun. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day today. We've got the sun out in full swing. Should we try and find Mila? Where is she? Oh, I think I spot her. I think I spot Mila. Hi, Meals. Hello, baby. Hello, Mila. Hey, what's Amber got on her head? Is a hat. Say, do you want to give kisses for Mila? Mwah. Kisses. No, she's too furry. We don't want to give Mila kisses. She's too furry. What a cute outfit you've got on, Missy Moo. What a cute outfit. I know, you love rocking about, girl. You are on the move, aren't you? Do you want to get down so you can do your walking and crawling? Off you go. Oh, you want me to come with you? So yes, oh, Mila's popped up. She's, now she's done her 10 minutes in the shade. Now she's doing her 10 minutes in the sun. <laughs> she's very, very uh, mindful and loving life here in the sun. We all are. We're loving it, aren't we, Ams? Yeah. I feel like we're matching a little bit today in gingham. We've got our gingham sets on. Where are you going? You're pointing at Mila. She wants to sunbathe for a bit at the moment, not chase you on there. And I did the nails again, guys. I can't remember what colour they were in the last vlog, but I've done them about. I'll try and get a little bit in the shade to show you. Mila's not coming with you for a second. She loves it when Mila follows her around on the walker. Um, I've gone back to the like milky white colour. I did the milky white and sorry, nail update. I know some of you just do not care about this new gel kit that I've got that I'm obsessed with. I did the milky white like builder gel without using the kind of <laughs> Mila! She's waving. Without kind of prepping and priming them in the same way and they peeled off really quickly. So anyway, I prepped and primed and then did two of the Milky White Builder Gel and it's feeling good so far. So fingers crossed. I also love... Yeah, we're going to turn around now. Ready? Buda, buda, buda. We need to top up your factor 50 in a minute, babe. A couple more, then we'll top it up. Bye. James and Amber are still outside. <laughs> James has been doing some laundry. Very good. It's honestly so handy being able to put stuff outside. Like, obviously we can do that in the UK when the sun's out, but mm, that's never. We've done it once this year so far, but it was great. I've been sunbathing, getting a bit of suntan in, guys. I honestly literally never tan. I just wanted to show you the bikini then. Look how cute this bikini is. I had it from one of the last holidays, so you may have already seen it, but I mean, it sort of does fit my boobs, but they also do fall out almost <laughs> but I was surprised to actually find a cute looking bikini in my size because they're not hard to, they're not easy to find um, and it was actually on ASOS it's peekaboo the brand is for anyone this is our bedroom by the way the brightest and airiest room in the house I love it so much I've got my little bikini collection there in the background most of these are from peekaboo on ASOS peekaboo bravissimo amazing as well peekaboo can't remember where that one's from, and peekaboo. The battery died on me just as I was giving you my bikini tour. But yeah, basically, all my bikinis, <laughs> most of them, are from peekaboo on ASOS. I just really love them. I feel like they're really, really comfortable. I always have to show off a cute bikini or bra. I mean, I'm, I'm still useless at finding cute bras. I still wear my nursing ones. From when I was pregnant slash breastfeeding Amber, I wore, I've literally worn these nursing maternity bras for over a year now and I'm not breastfeeding her anymore and I'm still wearing them because they're just so comfy. So I haven't got cute bra recommendations so I thought I'd better give the cute bikini recommendations because I love it, I feel good in it, I feel comfortable, I feel happy. And I spoke last time we were on holiday about, sorry, I feel like then I just get my boobs in the whole shot while I'm talking to you. This is a high-waisted one, which is really, really nice. But I was speaking last time about how on the last holiday I wore like a low-waisted bikini for one of the first times 
in a while um because when i first like started gaining weight before having amber and then obviously after having amber i went through more body changes i i found like low waisted things just an absolute no 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 um but now i feel like i'm getting to a stage where i can really appreciate both like i love this high waisted bikini i love it don't get me wrong i love that you know it makes me feel secure it like kind of you know it doesn't hide my belly rolls you know when i'm sitting and stuff or whatever but i get the vibe of high waistedness and how it feels like safe and secure and they are in general more flattering but i'm at a stage now where i love wearing low-waisted bikinis as well and it's just i always say it to you guys and i know i sound like a broken record but it really for me something that really helped was just removing that like shock of like oh my gosh you know when you wear a low-waisted bikini for the first time and like your belly hangs like it hangs it looks different it feels different like and when you just remove the shock of like okay that's what is that Amber? <laughs> right, I stopped recording abruptly because this one had a little fall outside. She's absolutely fine, but I just I could hear her crying and I was like, I gotta go. But anyway, um, but yes, I thank you for my other piece of fruit. We've got these new pieces of fruit, haven't we? That we stick together and pull apart. That's so good. Do you want to do it again? You got sun cream in your eye? No? no. There we go. And stick it on. Good girl. Yeah, we are going. James has just gone upstairs to get ready. Boop. Boop. <laughs> um, we are going out to check out the shops. So we're by the supermarket. They have like H&M and like a little yeah, bikini yeah, stall yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Different shops like that. So yeah, basically we're getting ready and we're going out to check out all the surrounding shops of the supermarket. How exciting. So we're just having some fun playing Word. I literally just downloaded it for the first time. What made time. you download that? a bit bored i was having a cup of tea you were like watch you we're were relaxed out here guys TikTok, and i was like amber was playing happily on her own and i was like what am i gonna do i'm gonna do a wordle we've been okay the last one we got it on the last go that was tough yeah the last we've one wasn't so good so far yeah the last one wasn't so good but that wasn't a true reflection of our wordle talent <laughs> We're definitely not professional um, words. We suck, literally, we're awful. It's probably like the worst thing for us because we both are much better with numbers oh, yeah. than we are with words. People, we're we? definitely number people, hence why we went to uni yeah. and did half a maths degree before dropping out. I'm just looking for something to clean the lens with. Jokes. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to get the vowels out. Ooh. I tried to set up a little. Did it go? Did it go through? We've got an O. Oh, okay. Oh, it's in the right place as well. Yeah. Um, we got a little soft play going at the moment. I brought in some of the cushions from outside and just created a little because I think Amber was missing her little climbing things from at home. Cleaning it. I know. I've also put her little toys in that little cubby. She loves all her little toys in one place, so she can like get them out as she goes. She loves to like unbox things and like unpack things and just. Yeah, you having fun? You got your carrot? Yeah, lovely. Bringing it to me, you. Thank you. James is really getting into the weirdo. Hello. Really? Hi. Hello, don't we? We put this off long enough. Night, night. Oh, are you? Set up a monopoly play card. <laughs> She's got one of the monopoly, monopoly play. deal. <laughs> one of the Monopoly play cards. Deal. She's oh Monopoly deal. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Honestly, it's the best game ever. Monopoly deal. If you love like well not if you love monopoly because i actually can't like stand monopoly yet monopoly. we both don't like monopoly but monopoly deal like honestly it is and everyone it's says it's good with two people yeah finding a game to play with two people is hard yeah it's good and it's quite fun really good fun. amber learned well basically was it what yesterday or the day before night night and it's honestly breaking my heart like every time we put her down now in the evening or for a nap she goes night 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 Oh, but are you going to bed? Night-night. Night-night, that was so quiet. But I'll puff up this little video <laughs> of last night. I went in, put her down to bed as usual, all fine. Came down <laughs> stairs. <laughs> James is still on Wordle. Came down um, and looked at my phone to like load the camera and it was blooming like completely on its side knocked over so i had to go back up and adjust the camera which is like never what you want to do because you don't want to disturb them trying to put themselves to sleep anyway went back up and she was like night night like night night and i literally was struggling to leave i was like night night bye, bye amber night night she was like night night i was heartbreaking night 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 So yeah, she's learnt that one and it's literally melting me. What's Mila doing? Night-night. 
Say night night Mila. Oh, look at her. She looks so so comfy and cozy. How do Oh night night. You're going to bed. Night night. On that hard floor. Oh you just banged your head. You're right. Yeah. Oh yeah, not bothered. <laughs> Coming with me and Daddy to put Daddy's washing out. Let's go. We've come out to do a bit of a supermarket birthday prep shop. Oh, so it is exciting. my, I know, it's my birthday. Um, in a few days. Yeah, basically in a few days. Um, so I've told James I'm going for like a birthday weekend. So oh, I'm no, prepping a birthday week. A birthday week. Thank That's you. you a seven day birthday. Thank you. <laughs> my friends are coming down for the birthday weekend when my birthday is actually Oh yeah, because it is actually on a Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so my friends are coming down this weekend, Thursday till Sunday, which will be so nice. I cannot wait. Mm -hmm. Three of my besties um, coming up. Three of our besties. We share yes. friends, just like everything else. So yeah, they're coming down, which is going to be so nice. Um, so I thought I would do, we'd kind of do like a pre, kind of just us prep celebration, like before they come. Yeah. And then just for like the day, and then they're going to be there all weekend. Well, so why wouldn't you want an excuse to celebrate numerous times? I and then my feel. parents are coming down the after, yeah. and I think we're going to take the opportunity to go and do something with just yeah. us for a few hours. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. Mm. So yeah, today we are getting things to do a cake. I'm really excited. I want to make a birthday cake, and I want to do little like figurines of icing of like all the things that I love. Before. So You've like never a little. Really baked, have you? No. So this should be fun. I've baked a bit. Yeah. It's never gone too well. Um, and I've been trying to tell James my vision, but he's not quite sure yet. So I'm not sure either, but it's going to hopefully be brought to life. But I'm thinking some sort of like that, not looking like that, but just for the icing vibes, like naked cake vibes where you kind of scrape the icing around the side. And then I also want to have it on top just to give it a neutral palette. So I can do little figurines of harder icing of like things that I love, like a vlogging camera. I can't even think of anything else that's embarrassing. What are my hobbies? Embroidery. Uh, embroidery, um, that's the one. Clothes. clothes. Uh, amber. Vlogging. Amber. Hobbies, um. Amber! Basically just going to be amber and a camera and a dog <laughs> on top. And it's going to be the perfect cake. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to hopefully get some birthday like celebration things. Some balloons, something like that. Oh, I love a birthday so prep. Fun. I get way too excited. I actually brought a couple of balloons with me. Did you? And a banner. I know. Sorted. I know. I was going to surprise you with it, but you seem keen oh. on taking the lead on your own birthday. <laughs> So there we go, you can have it at your disposal. I love like. birthday Otherwise cards. you'd go to bed and like, look, you'd already have decorated the kitchen no. perfectly and then I'll just put up one lousy banner and be like, look what I bought! I love it! I always go way too <laughs> over the top and I know I'm 26, I know I'm way too old for like a birthday yeah. table prep thing. But my family always did these big birthday like setups for our birthday and it's just birthday something breakfast. I've... Birthday breakfast. Birthday breakfast, yeah. We do like this massive setup, we come down and be like banners everywhere and it was just magical and so I kind of like, I think it's just embedded in me and I just want to recreate it for myself. <laughs> and Amber and James, of course. We're making good progress on the food shop. Amber, are you excited for my birthday? No. No? Are you going to come to my party? No. Oh, okay. That's fine then. Okay, so I'm having so much fun picking up loads of different bits for the cake. I'm just gonna leave James, oh, sugar. I'm gonna leave James and Amber for a sec because I've got to pick up some more things, but it's proving a little bit difficult to um, find things in uh, French. So Amber's looking after my vanilla extract, which I think I found. Like vanilla extract, extract de vanilla. And then that's the only extract D thing I can find, which isn't vanilla. So I've just gone for vanilla bourbon. It's so confusing, guys. And I hope that's right, but it's probably not. So I don't know what. Like bourbon, isn't that alcohol? It's just gonna turn out an alcoholic cake. I don't know. Next thing I need to find is baking powder. Okay, guys, wish me luck. I'm on a mission. Oh, it's on the floor. You hold that one for me. Le vieux chimique. Chimique. Let's see what it says. Le vieux chimique. Le vieux, le vieux chimique. We got it, we found it. Woo, we did it Amber, let's go. Good evening guys, so we had the whole evening routine. Hello, Hello James is reading his Kindle. Hi. It's starting to get a little bit dark. It's the evening. Oh, it's still nice and warm. We, I know, it's so nice. It's been a little bit chilly, I've got myself quite a bit. <laughs> I've got my sweater on, I have. I know, I might get my hoodie on now. Yeah, you need to. We did a whole, you know, dinner, bedtime routine, which is always a little bit stressful. Um, 
but Amber's down now and we watched a bit of TV and then we thought we're bored. We're in between shows. We're bored, yeah. We've got to that stage where we finished Emily in Paris. <laughs> we loved Emily in Paris. Pieces of, of her. Pieces of her. Finished Emily in Paris. And then we were like... I'm for Working Moms to come out tomorrow. That's going to be our new one. Um, we love Working moms. moms. Working Moms. Yeah, I finished it and then we tra we did watch one episode of something we liked but we were like, Ozark. no. Ozark, yeah. It's heavy. Pop it's heavy, yeah. It's like an hour long. We quite like to mix up a heavy show with like a light fun show, so we got to wait for working yeah, we moms. Do one, heavy, one episode of heavy and lights. Yeah, and, and then, then one episode of lights. Yeah, because they're whole hour long, aren't they? They're long, yeah. And like that's a lot. Intense. To go into. You can't go to bed after an hour long intense yeah. show. It is literally all intensity as well. I know. It doesn't seem to do any like heart. <clears throat> we can't deal with it guys no, we're snowflakes so we're playing a bit of monopoly deal yeah. chilling out having some drinkies and i just have to show you this oh my god i just tried i just forced james into getting um one of those cute oh, they're all turned up beautiful honestly it's just not even funny i tried to get one of those cute like what like pictures where <laughs> pictures where you like sit on your partner's lap like you see on pinterest we tried this before years ago it was it didn't go well what is that what why i don't understand how other people do it <laughs> james's face as if he's gonna think that that photo is gonna turn out good he's like let me just smile in case this one actually works out good i was just i was just uh, stretching to try to actually see the camera <laughs> honestly you can't like what I couldn't cope, guys. Yeah, we actually did have some cute ones in the end. I just put them on a timer on the camera. <laughs> his face. He's like, these aren't going well, but yeah. Just try to stay positive. <laughs> smile just smile and wave. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. Hello. We are just setting up for a morning hike. I think this is probably the earliest <laughs> hike. Hi. Dog walk. Half an hour. Hike. <laughs> Not half an hour. Always an hour or more. I class that as a hike. Mila, do you pass that as a hike? You got your whistle? Oh my god! That's so cool! Morning! Still got, a, still got a jammies on, that's how early we are out on the dog walk. Right, come on then, let's go! You're let's very go. excited, woo! Oh, I've got a fly stuck to my face. <laughs> you are looking beautiful today, Bill. Oh, look at that. I love it when the light like shines in. What do they call it? Like a light. The sun. Orb. Streak. The yeah. sun. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's the sun. And I'm obsessed with sunglasses now, guys. I literally, like before, I. Well, I've always loved a sunglass when needed, but I have this thing that I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can relate to, can you, James? I've no. said it before and you've been like, what the heck? When I wear sunglasses, or like, not these ones, but like other rubbish ones, if one of my senses is slightly changed, I can't like use my other senses. Your so, like, spidey senses do not tingle. My spidey senses just shut down and like, I can't hear properly, I can't taste properly. Like if I'm wearing a, a pair of like crappy sunglasses that really kind of like aren't good and I can't see properly out of, like give me a Sani and I can't taste it. Um, and it's just weird, but I do think that might just be me. But yeah, I think that is just These weird. are actually some good quality ones. These are from Captain Sense and I love them and I can actually like taste and hear and smell. So yeah. it's all good, you know? It's because these ones don't also come with headphones and a nose plug. <laughs> Don't they? Oh yeah, all You've the cheap. Always all been the buying cheap. all those ones with nose plugs and headphones. Yeah, no. no. You just can't hear or taste either. But James is clearly the opposite because he's like the biggest sunglasses lover ever. I so. just have extremely sensitive eyes. That, well, I think. So yeah, I, I was can't. just. That's why if you ever notice me, kind of, I always close an eye. Yeah, he does. It's the only way I can like see in the sun. He squints like that. I'm like, oh, hello. He does it a lot. He's like, hey guys. Um, but yeah, James has very sensitive eyes. But I didn't have sensitive eyes and I was just I telling was James of eyes. Yeah, I was just telling James that since I had amber and breastfed my eyes actually got a lot more dry and sensitive 
So I actually went to the opticians originally about it and he gave me some eye drops and stuff. But basically ever since I started breastfeeding, my eyes got super dry. So that's why I think now I appreciate the sunglasses even more. This little piggy went somewhere else. Oh, this little piggy went away. I cannot see a thing because it's too sunny. But I've just got my outfit on for the day. Amber's still sleeping. I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day. I literally can't see. I hope I'm actually in the shot right now. Um, but I've got my Gymshark shorts on. Shorts? Shorts. These are the Legacy Collection. I'll put these on my head. Maybe that'll help. I can see a little bit. Um, Legacy Collection. This is a little top from Zara. Just a ribbed crop. This shirt is from Topshop. I love it. Ooh, hair in my mouth. It's like a waffle soft material. Um, it's from Topshop but on ASOS. And then I've got the... I really hope you can see Adidas sliders. <laughs> they are so comfy, honestly. Mm. So, so, so comfy. And, oh, my glasses, which were on my head, which from Captain Sen's. My little Captain Sen's tote bag, because oh, we're going to the party shop. I found a shop that does like party decorations um, about 20 minutes away, so we're gonna do a big trip to there. It looks like the best decorations party, like tit tat shop. Like I showed James the pictures um, when I looked it up and he was like, that looks like my worst nightmare. And I was like, I know, and that's my heaven. Just like decorations galore. So yeah, I love how uh, different me and James are in that aspect. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go there on a little family trip this afternoon. So I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I'm back to type in. Back to type in, are we? <laughs> yeah, watermelon. Amber's just woken up from her nap. James is having a quick shower in there. He's been for a swim. Yes, daddy has been swimming in the freezing cold pool. I don't know if he said, but we've only been swimming once so far. Oh, thank you. Is that watermelon for me? Busy, busy girl at work. You're very busy, but you make your time to give me a watermelon. That's so lovely. Yes, we only went in the pool once the other day. Freezing cold. Um, too cold for Amber. She was like, Ooh, she loved it. But then after a while, you want to back open again? Oof, tough job opening and closing your laptop. <laughs> dip, 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 tap, tap, tap. Yeah, we went in for like three minutes and it was like absolutely freezing cold. So we came back out. You keep closing it and then I wanted to open it again. But yeah, James is doing like swims in the freezing cold water every day. I'll have to ask him in a sec how he found his one today. <laughs> she keeps closing it and then she can't reopen it. Back to work, please. Tap, tap, tap. Are you showing Elmo the garden? You're showing him around. That's Ada, yeah, that's so nice. I can just hear her going, Ada, Ada. Look, that's like her favorite spot. She just loves sitting in the shade, looking out. Very mindful, Amber. Very, very mindful. Um, so yes, we're just making some lunch. We're gonna make some tuna sandwiches. Mm. James has got his top off again. He just knows how to get out of vlogging. Takes the top off. Mmm, strawberry. This girl loves her strawberries. Hi. Um, oh, <laughs> just round the floor. Oh, good girl. Um, James bought these. They are honestly the freshest strawberries. Got four chips. <laughs> they best did. strawberries we've ever tasted, though. Yeah, it's mad here. They have like four choices of strawberries. I know. And they each change in price and go up. We don't get them as fresh as this. Well, no, because they're shipped in. Obviously, I know. They're shipped in from goodness. Though, it's right? worth the cost yeah. for the, the summer, fresh. British strawberries yes. are lovely, to be fair. They are, yeah. Mm. To be fair. Can't do them down too much, but these are delish. James is just getting ready to... Mila, this way. Come on, baby. Go into the park. Um, James is just getting ready to give Amber a bottle. This is the pool area. I don't know if we've shown it yet in a vlog because, like we said earlier, it's too blooming chilly to go in. But yeah, and there's this view from the pool, which is absolutely phenomenal. But yes, James is just getting Amber ready to go on our little balloon hunting adventure, balloon party setup adventure, and me and Mila are having a little stroll. Here we go, in the little park we've got. Yay, park, it's just like a nice grassy area for her. Come on, lead. come here. That just blows my mind every time. Hello, baby, what are you jumping up for? You having a little explore? <laughs> Hello, baby, go and explore. <laughs> also, we have little mosquito bites everywhere. Like, I feel like there's one developing every hour and then once you itch them they just get so itchy don't they so we got mosquito bites we've got the eczema that's playing up i'm surprised my eczema is still so bad usually when i come abroad or like come into the sun it's much much better um than it is when when i'm not in the sun um i don't know the sun usually like clears it up loads I'm boiling in the shirt i don't know why i'm wearing the shirt i do not need to wear it so yeah i'm a bit gutted that it's not kind of it usually heals it 
come into the sun and it's like my eczema's healed, gone. But um, that's not the case this time, so I'm a bit gutted, but never mind. We're flaunting it, we're working with it. The eye eczema's gone though, which I'm um, just like, that's the one I can't cope with. It's just the sensitive skin under my eyes, like I said before, it just went that sensitive area of your face is flared up. It's just really hard. It makes me feel really tired. It makes me feel ugh. So this is the place that I found online. Um, Fita, yeah, Fita Recevoir. Recevoir. Um, Fita Recevoir. It means celebrate and receive in English, Amazing. for anyone that's interested. That well and it's translated. basically a big, party shop so I'm loving the name celebrate and receive like you're either celebrating a b-day or like you're receiving a b-day celebration I'm loving it and um, so yeah we're heading in there now well, I can't can wait parking it's absolutely oh my jammed. gosh it's packed I don't know what it's, I, well, it's, it's crazy it's industrial estate so I think it's just where all the yeah. work is it is literally massive jam-packed with things we're currently in like a material section yeah Amber what's that Ooh, what's over there balloons oh my god can you see the balloon arch uh, I can't actually see the blue knot. What am I looking at? Oh wow, yeah. Should we try and recreate that? Oh yeah. I will <laughs> honestly be recreating it. I think the reason that I love like birthday setups and stuff is because it's like the same reason that I love like home decor and stuff. I, I love creating like something that looks pretty in the home. So it's just like another version of that really. I'm not sure why I love it so much, but I really do. Does it ever look pretty though? <laughs> yeah. A pile of balloons. I love it. <laughs> I was saying earlier, I love how different we are when it comes to stuff like this. It just cracks me up so much and I just do it anyway. Literally, there's nowhere where, near where we live. Well, Hobby Craft is probably a close, but the only place that does similar stuff, but nowhere near as like, like, look at all this Easter stuff. Uh, it's already got an Easter, isn't it? I know. Um, but like, you've just got, you've got, they've got every season here. I think they even have Christmas at this time of year. Like, oh. it just covers every season, from what I saw online anyway. So I got a cheap bike on my foot. I'm obsessed. Yeah, I was saying earlier, we got so many bikes. Oh. Sorry, sorry, we're going sorry, to the party section. So, we're back from the party shop, guys. I got very excited. This is what I picked up. So, I've got two and six for 26. Mummy's been 26. Are you excited for Mummy's birthday? I did say in the shop, didn't I? Thank that you. It was surprising they didn't just have a two and a six on a single balloon. Because <laughs> it is a massive birthday. James was like, taking. Celebrate. The mix. Okay. 18, 20, 30, 40, 50. But no 26, guys. No it's like, oh, I'm balloons. so surprised. They don't have 26 anywhere. It's like the biggest birthday to celebrate. He's just taking the mix. I'm going to go way OTT for a 26th birthday, but we love it. Amber's loving the wrapping paper. That's nice, isn't it? Do you like it? Yeah? I put um, a few small things. Oh. And I put a wrapping paper in the basket thinking about it's being all cheeky oh. and then Karis changed it for yeah. a different wrapping paper. He like snuck a wrapping, <laughs> a wrapping paper in there and I was like, hen, that's not quite on theme with what I was going for so I'm just going to swap the wrapping paper that was going to be a surprise, okay? Not control freak. Not only when it comes to birthday celebrations, <laughs> literally only when it comes to like home decor and birthday setups, my control freak just comes out guys. So yeah, I've gone for the theme is just colour. Like I do love the like Pinterest like dusty neutral vibe birthday setups and things but I just thought you know what this year thank you Ka. this year I'm feeling colour so we've gone for like colourful pastels colourful we had to get a French I think that says happy birthday obviously it does um, thank you you want it Jeune anniversary Caris Joyeux anniversary to me. No. no, no. Oh, Sarah. Yeah, okay. But yeah, we had to get the French in there, ofs, um, and then put up some little balloons. We've got some helium as well to fill up all these with the numbers as well. And then we've got the cake side of things. So I've got my 26 for the cake, and then I've got these like icing things, which I'm going to make loads of like little, what do you call them? Like figurines of different things, and then obviously some colourful sprinkles too. Ofs. Ofs, guys. Are you going for a run then? I meant to be. <laughs> James is thinking of going for a run because he's a crazy cat. First. It is too hot for to go for a run. You've got to look after yourself now. Yeah, but I'm going for a run. Mm. Looking after myself up here. That's true. It's true. Self-care. I, I love that for you. My self-care is going to be sorting look out all this. Heart, look after the head. Yeah, that's right. Couldn't agree more. So I've got my little helper with me here. Oh, shake, shake, shake. What sound does that make? Shake, 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 shake. Yes. We're going to start making the icing figurines. So my idea for the cake, I've just taken all my makeup off and what else did I do? Took my jewelry off. I just needed like a freshen up. 
gets to like 3 p.m. and I'm like, oh, time to wind down, take the makeup off, refresh. And just throwing everything on the floor and then picking it back up if you can hear stuff <laughs> clunking about down there. James has gone for a nap. He's feeling like super exhausted. So he's gone for a nap. So I'm going to crack on with the icing figurines for my birthday cake. So I kind of vision my birthday cake as like cake. So we're doing like a Victorian spent Victoria? Victoria? <laughs> Victoria sponge. Um, double layered. I'm gonna like ice it round with that like naked scraped butter icing. So it's like kind of like a white fresh neutral palette. And then I'm gonna go crazy with like the colorful sparkles. And then I want loads of kind of like icing figurines, which I can just pick off when we want to cut the cake. Um, of like things that I love. Like I was trying to say a list of them earlier. So I'm gonna have to just crack on with the list. I'm gonna start with a vlogging camera um, because that's what comes to mind first. So yeah. I'm gonna start with that. I have no idea how it's gonna go, but we're gonna give it a go. Okay, so this is how my first attempt, well, I'm gonna not do another attempt because it'll just take too long, but that's how my camera turned out. I'm gutted yeah. that I used, hi, are you enjoying yourself? I'm gutted that I used the brown stuff, like the li more liquidy stuff because that's just gone all messy, but the other just using like the Play-Doh type of ready roll icing works really, really well. I'm gonna use little cocktail sticks as well to kind of like, fix these two into place and um, but yeah i'm gutted about the brown but i'm gonna use none of that on the future stuff and hopefully they'll turn out a little bit cleaner i might try and clean it up now actually i might try and like remove the brown and like stick some icing on top of where that was actually yeah i'm gonna oh, you okay yeah you just dropped your toy there it is should we play some of this together so let's do some of this your favorite toy this is honestly so good she loves this so much yay Right, which one should we do? Let's do star, should we? Look in there. Oh, you want to do that one? Where's that one? Mm, oh my gosh, where is it? Oh my gosh, am I being that stupid? Oh, there it is. There we go. In there. That's it. And then she just like fiddles like that. Until she... hey! Yeah, it's not that way. It's like that. She kind of has a fiddle until she gets it in. It's adorable. Hey! <laughs> You can do it. You don't need my help like this usually, do you? That's it. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. You got it. You got it. Well done, Amber. Yeah. Good girl, baby. Woo. Do you want to do another one? Should we do star? There we go. There's the star. So yeah, anyway, I'm really excited to see how these turn out. So I'm much happier with how this has turned out, but you can still see the remainders yeah. of the brown stuff. So I definitely won't be using that. Um, to try and draw with it on future ones but I have used it to stick the stuff on which is fine but the remainders and like the messiness that you can see there is from trying to like draw with it before so yeah we've just all had spaghetti bolognese for dinner and now James is bathing Amber um, and I'm going to clean the kitchen I've just done that thing I was up in the bathroom we were all just chatting while Amber was in the bath where I've like squeezed the spots you can't even see them but they're not even there i talk about this all the time on my story on instagram and i always get so many people saying that they do the same which was the first time i spoke about it i was like no one's gonna be able to relate to this like this is just me being like it's kind of like an anxious thing that i do when i'm like feeling a bit stressed or feeling or it could be literally like stress and anxious for no reason like it could either be because of something specific or stress and anxiety for you like no reason like tonight there's no reason that i should be feeling anxious but sometimes anxiety just comes out like that and um I find myself in the mirror picking squeezing my skin um yeah and it just it's just so so frustrating there's no there's nothing there there's no spots they're like so small they're like the really kind of like underlying blackheads and you just want to squeeze them out and you end up damaging your skin like that little like scab there's from squeezing something that just wasn't there and then it just cut my skin and turned into that anyway whenever i talk about it on instagram i get the most overwhelming number of people saying that they do the same so if you do that when you're feeling anxious or stressed or whatever then you're not alone <laughs> a lot of people do it and yeah just be kind to yourself i i try i get james to be like stop it stop it but even when he says that i'm still like oh trying to do it so it's something i'm working on but it really frustrates me when i do do it because i damage my skin for no reason okay so i've been working away oh no i've lost one of my dog's paws i've been working away on my little things i don't know how i'm gonna lay them out on the cake yet but this is what i've done maybe i should take him into the light I've done, I'm just still not really happy with the camera. I might redo the camera, but I don't know if that's just ridiculous now. James was like, don't be silly, don't redo it. But I'm not sure. It just looks a bit messy to me. But anyway, that's a dog paw, obviously. That's a little baby grow. That's probably my favorite one. I love that one so much. That's a little needle with some thread for my embroidery. 
and that is a nail polish because my new gels I'm obsessed with. So yeah, I need to, I've got loads more that I kind of want to make, but that's the start. And I'm really happy with how it's going. And I think I visioned them. The camera started quite chunky because I kind of visioned it on top of the cake, but now I've done them quite thin. I sort of visioned them stuck like around the cake, like kind of covering the whole cake. So I might do some thicker ones like the camera to stand on top and then some thin ones to kind of cover around the side of the cake. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna tidy the kitchen now and then me and James gonna bunker down for the evening. We're both really feeling we're quite tired today. Um, I think it's the heat as well, just kind of makes you feel a bit drained and tired. Um, but yeah, we've had a lush day and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is 6 a.m. The sun hasn't even quite risen properly yet. So it's super early days. Um, but <laughs> Are you wanting to say hello? Hello there! Hi! Nice morning, baby! Hi! <laughs> oh, you were missing out, were you? Yeah, you. So yeah, it's super duper early. Um, James is currently having a lion. He didn't sleep very well last night at all. I know we've spoken before about how he gets quite bad sleep anxiety. And it's like, I get it in the day, he gets it in the night. And both of them suck because in the day, you feel like you can't enjoy your day and in the night you can't sleep. So, um, yeah, no. that sucks. No? Did you sleep well? Look on, look on. She's so like babbly and I'm just trying to understand what she's saying all the time. <laughs> what? Would you like to go outside? No. No. Okay. Um, so I'm just making myself a cup of tea and we are going to crack on with the birthday prep, guys. It's literally my birthday in a day. Oh my God, I hate it when I do that. The little fingers and the blooming, the whole, oh my god, the whole like paper thing from the tea bag just went in there. It's okay, we got it out with a fork. Did mummy save the day? Did mummy save the day? <laughs> I just love getting the nose. <laughs> they still crack me up. So, it's birthday prep day. Is it mummy's birthday in a day? No. No. Yeah, so that's what we're doing this morning. So yesterday I did, where's my phone? That was literally right here. Yesterday, I um, was obviously making the icing things and I made a couple more yesterday evening because I messaged, well, I put on my Instagram story that I was gonna be, that I was making the icing things and I couldn't think of anything else to make. I think I showed, showed you all the ones I made. I made one for you, a little onesie. I made like different things that you saw yesterday. And I was like, I can't think of anything else to make. I put it on my Instagram story. I was like, I think you guys sometimes know me better than I know me, which is so true. And the amount of pe like things that people got spot on, I was like, how have I not thought of these? I was like, you guys know me so well. It's actually bonkers. I love it. Like, uh, yeah. it's literally like having besties, like across, across here. I just think it's crazy. Anyway, all of the, everyone basically said all of these things, but like in different orders or like different people said different things. Why are you shaking your head now? What are you saying no for? You wanted to put the camera. So I'm gonna try and make as many as of these as I can today. Of the list of what people said, yesterday I made eucalyptus tulips, fairy lights and tea. Like how did I not think of those? What? <laughs> the two and the six blown up which are absolutely massive which i'm loving i'm just letting everything float to the top apart from that one which i'm just playing with um for now and then i'm doing the setup over there i've just put the little banner up there and um, but yeah the setup's gonna go there i'm just gonna blow all the balloons up and then we're gonna go from there welcome bonjour ça va ça va ça va <laughs> how's I our french going welcome. terrible i think we learned some <laughs> sentences on the drive here and I, we're picking up little bits from the supermarket mainly, like working out. Yes, we were learning kind of the names of foods. And things. You know, That's we can tell well. you unsalted butter, but I we know. can't say like, how are you doing? Okay, so this is the birthday setup so far. We've just oh, put Amber down. Amazing. Thank this you, Pooh. You've been so you've sweet about it. Job. I'm actually buzzing. Like every time I do one, it's a bit more practice. So when Amber, you know, you is know get what? you know her birthdays, I'm going to be going all out. I think if our social media ever completely fails us, yeah. 
This is it. Balloon deck. Events. I would actually love it. Honestly, yeah. you guys know I would love it. Um, so yeah, this is the... Amazing. What? I think you'd be great. Oh, thank you. You're just so supportive. <laughs> Stop it. So yeah, we used helium for obviously the ones that are floating and basically all of them. Um, and then I popped in some smaller ones that weren't helium. And then these little ones aren't helium either because my helium ran out. Little card from James's mum propped it up there. James brought a birthday badge, bless his heart. It's my birthday, yay! Um, and he also brought some balloons and other bits. Um, but yeah, I didn't use his banner much to his I disappointment. Know, I, I brought the homemade one, but I remember now that when I was looking for the nice homemade one, couldn't find it. So yeah. I bought a different one, but it was quite cool. It was a cute one. It? No, no, no it's put it up in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could do actually. God, is that disgusting? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. Look, babes, we've got a theme. <laughs> It's called pastel colours, clearly. Um, anyway, so this is the setup and we just put Amber down for a nap. And while she's napping, our task of the day is to bake the bee day cake. I'm so excited. And then once we've like baked the cake, then I can carry on with Definitely my- Decorate the cake. Mm -hmm. I can carry on with my icing figurines because I thought there's no point in actually prioritizing the figurines and then not having a cake to decorate. So yeah, we're getting the cake done now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The baking has been happening. Oh, 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 look how smooth. smooth. Karis has got her batter. Smooth. You've been battering that batter, girl. It's so smooth. Honestly, I've been going at it, and it's it's gonna be the best cake ever made. Okay. I think so. Oh, you eaten you eaten the batter? That's yeah, naughty. That's raw egg in there, girl. Okay, I'm ready. Gonna, we're gonna get it in the tin. Then we've got baking paper. So we're chucking. We're just gonna batter up the bottom of the tin, and we're hoping it's not gonna stick. Feels quite nice yeah. and non-stick. It's in brand new pan, so I'm hoping the non stickiness yeah. will fully be there. True. Okay, so next job is to continue with the icing. Okay, so I can't remember which ones I'd done. I think it was these, I can't remember. Anyway, um, so last night when Amber went to bed, we watched TV and I sat in this little spot, guys, all night. And I did the cup of tea, the eucalyptus, the tulip, the fairy lights and the dumbbell. Honestly, not even being funny, like the dumbbell took me the longest. And it's like a little tiny thing because I could not get the proportions right. And it was so fiddly and small. But yeah, I'm so happy with how they've all turned out. That I'm not actually having. It just doesn't... It started off, it was too chunky, it was too big, it looks too messy to me. I do love it though, but I'm going to make like a thinner version because all these are very much like flat, can be stuck on the side of the cake. And I just want this to match the same aesthetic. So, aesthetic, sorry, I cannot say that word. Um, so I've got my bits, my icing's over there, I'm going to grab it now. And we're going to crack on with the rest of them. Amber is awake! Hello, Mifu! She's been doing little like walking between us on this little mat. It's like our little place where we practice the me and James at one end and she walks between hey. us. We're so proud of her. Um, okay, so I've been getting on with my, oh, is that all I've done? Oh no, yeah, I did the camera. So this was the old camera. I did decide to redo it in the end and I'm quite happy because it turned out yeah, a lot better. Yeah, it looks better. <laughs> Thank you. It's like more of a Kodak, you know? Yeah, a bit, bit chunkier. <laughs> we do love a chunky vibe, but Take I am. Take a picture of me and a Kodak. <laughs> and then this, James, what do you think this is? Chopperboard. Yay! It's even rustic, see? Because I've yeah, got like the marble effect. Ombre rustic. Rust yeah, I've got the... Two of your favourite things, chopping boards and ombre stars. I know, but I couldn't get, like obviously I didn't have a brownie rustic colour, so I hope it's obvious what it is. I think it is. I think it is. Thanks, Bill. I got it, and I'm not very creative or visual. Look it up for me. <laughs> okay, bye then. I'm going to the supermarket. Bye bye! Aww. Oh, she's waving, I'm crying. <laughs> she wants to go down and play. But yeah, they're off to the supermarket, and I'm going to finish off my icing figurines and also I'll just show you the cakes one second over here which has got a little bit of a malfunction there and then this one looks perfect so this one will be the top one that one can be the bottom and then we'll put icing in the middle icing all around guys I'm so excited I'm ready James <laughs> that's not very friendly to elbow his eyes are blonking about all over the table oopsies he's just hiding things in the utilities smooth Smooth moves. Um, okay, so I finished the figurines. Yeah, look, James, this is my favorite one. Turtle neck. Turtle neck jumper and jeans. How nice. cute. Little hammer for DIY. House, of course, and then James Carris Amber. I was gonna do an M, but what to be honest. I know, you're the main character, boo. You're Mila. You're the least main character for your birthday. Don't tell Mila. Where's the M? I know, I ran out of it. My back's breaking. <laughs> Honestly, I do feel bad missing out the M, but hopefully she won't notice. <laughs> She hasn't, she is in a mood. Is she? Where is she's she? She's in a proper mood. Me also. She's not at you. I love you. I didn't mean to miss out the end. It just, it was such a complicated one to do and my back was breaking. I'm exhausted. Anyway, so we're ready now to decorate the cake. Put the ice and figurines on. Icing sugar. 
so I need to go back out to buy the ice and sugar. <laughs> So I forgot to buy it. I yes. got James else. is going to go back out, get the ice and sugar, it's fine. <laughs> and then we can make the buttercream, put it all together, stick the ice and figurines Gosh, on. Hot. We're ready to celebrate. Well done, I know it's a hot day today. Good evening, guys. Caught you on your phone. I know, I just came off a dog walk, an evening dog walk. James has been out. Yes, we've done the whole dinner, bath time, bedtime, rushing around. And the big question is, okay, it's not focusing. pizza no. with ketchup. <laughs> Well, actually, absolutely no need to have the ketchup because there's like literally tomato sauce Look, in it. Look, I put it on my Instagram story. Did you see what the no. percentage was? Okay, so I have ketchup with everything. I will admit that I have ketchup with everything. But I thought pizza was like quite a normal thing to we have ketchup to have, with. Like, peppercorn sauce, like smothered over food. And then cows are still No, I still do that, yeah. It's I like quite weird. quite a few people do. I reckon 25% of people have ketchup, which I think is quite a lot. Really? 44%. 44%. That's a lot. But maybe have just ketchup. for the crust. Do you only use it for the crust or do you actually full no, on? No, boo, oh, for the full on. Oh, full pizza. Strange. Anyway, we're all ready to go. Amazing. Birthday, thank you. I was just going to show it. Birthday prep. Hi, hey, Mila. Let's get a cover to look after. Hi, baby. I know, I know. Birthday cake has been done. I know the lighting is not. Oh, I just noticed the fairy lights. Yeah, the fairy lights were on so the bottom. Cute. I think you can see it probably well enough but we've got almost everything on there i had to it's miss amazing. out a few because i orig originally thought i was going to do it around the sides but instead we've just done like the naked cake vibes because it was too thin really and not sticky enough to stick them like around the side yeah the cake it would have got tricky much larger in diameter and we did add more mix but our maths wasn't quite there was no. it tight enough clearly but it's turned out exactly how I wanted it to. It's perfect. The lighting's not ideal right now, but I'll pop up some pictures. <laughs> but yeah, I got everything on that I wanted to get on. Oh, We're so excited. I know, and tomorrow morning I'll go to the airport to pick up your friends. My friends. A birthday Our weekend. A birthday right. weekend. We're going to be celebrating all weekend. We can't wait. Um, thank you guys so much oh, for so following. I'm sweaty. <laughs> I feel like... I'm going to shower. We? Oh, cheeky. Cut, cheeky. Cheeky. Cheeky catch for the end. Uh, um... <laughs> Always a good awkward ending. Bye guys. <laughs> see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next Thank video. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>